hello, welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Today we are going to be working in milonga and specifically milonga traspié. <laughs> Okay, here we are on the dance floor. We're going to show you the traspied using a milonga figure, right? Yes, let us show you first with dynamic and then later we're going to give you tips. Very, very, very important and make sure to stick until the end because we are going to try to do it with more dynamic and a special correction that you don't have to miss. So, let's do this. We are going to start with two traspieds. Again. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're doing a square, we are doing baldosa, mm -hmm. step, square, step, but we have two dress pieces. One is to the back for the leader, front for the follower, yes. and another one to the side. How we are doing this? We are going to see this. Ladies first. So when he transfer away to my right, I know he's going to move my left. Very mm -hmm. simple, but very important to know. So from here, I will feel the lead for traspié. Stop in the middle, continue with the same leg to finish my step front. And the same happens here. I will feel the lead to go side and then he will stop me. So then later I have the lead to keep going to the side and finalize my step. Now on this one, he's walking on my right. Then he goes back to the front, so I don't have to go to the cross. Feet together, side, and collect. So we are creating like square move uh, during this and doing the trash pit. Exactly. For the leader, quick tip here is we are going to initiate like a regular step. If I will lead her into a regular step forward, this will happen. We just walk, correct? In the middle of that step, we are going to stop her. We initiate the movement and tuck. We stop with very good position with the torso. So make sure you don't stop her with the arms. This is bad. It's stopping with the rib cage. And from here, we just let our body step naturally. Same here. We are going to do a side step, but in the middle of the side, tuck. We pull back with our right connection, which will be my right forearm. After that, then we proceed to the regular step. Yes, almost, I do it almost like fall into the step. And from here, it's just a regular resolution in front of her. Later, of course, we'll do it much, a little bit faster because it's me longer. Something important for the followers. We are going to show you how to recognize the lead for Traspe. Uh, be sure when you recognize the lead, don't keep going forward. Don't keep, don't fight to finish mm, yes. the step. This means that you should stop here. When you recognize the lead, you can open the position of your foot a little more a little extra, so you're not wearing this position. We are teaching to do this opening on the foot position every time you walk forward. So now if you have the technique on your legs, you will use it here. So you don't have to think about doing it because it's already there on your muscle memory. So in the case that he's leading trash pied, you are going to stop in a very nice position with the leg open, with your foot open, yes. and that will create beautiful lines when you trash pied, when you stop. When you trash pied, this is a stop only from your foot, putting a little pressure, but not moving your hips. Don't confuse this with a rock step. And then before moving to the next step to finalize this one, um, be sure to extend the front leg. So I will stop, extension, and then transfer body weight. Yes, now we're going to see this from the other side so we can have more tips. Before we continue with the second part, we have something to tell you. Go to our website and check it out our online tango school. It's called Online Tango Training. You will find over 200 classes there. Milonga Tango, Mil Tango Nuevo, Vals, solo training for followers, solo training for leaders, you name it. So definitely go and check it out. All right, now from this side, we are going to initiate with a traspied first, choo -choo 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 -choo, and we are going to do this. One, if you notice, I'm not putting completely body weight on my back foot yet. Yes, this will be different. Don't do this. One and two and three. Ooh. That is another step that later we are going to explain in another video. But at the moment, make sure you don't put 
tack, completely body weight on the back. It's just half of the way. And from here, without going forward for the leaders, we just continue going back. Now, going to the side, let me rotate a little bit so they can see the lead. We send her half of the way and with my forearm, if you notice, I will exaggerate this very much. Zoom. I'm pulling with my rib cage and my forearm to the side. I will do it again. Tuck, tuck. I am going with my intention there, but my forearm is telling her to stop. And from here, we just continue to the step and normal resolution. That, that was so <laughs> beautiful lead that followers are needing to know, to recognize that it's not really <laughs> to complete the step. The lead is just to stop. So followers, for, for them to be able to do this lead, we need to connect your shoulder blade, your left shoulder blade, lowering the position of your arm. So if, he, if they pull, for example, let's do the lead again to the side. If they pull and I'm weak here, they slide out. So they, there's no way they can do that lead. But if you have the connection from the shoulder blades, not pushing much, but be there, connect, a little bit intense, then when they stop, you feel it here. I don't feel it much on my back with the fingers, not with the fingers, no, like we, we comment on other videos. It's here. Let us show you again. It will be on the side. So if you see it, it will be in my upper arms. Let's do it this way. It's on my upper arms and his upper arm. This is the lead. So it's totally, completely different. It's not fingers on your no, back. No, please, no fingers. It's no. mostly on the left side for the followers. So recognize when you feel that stop, don't fight to keep going, just pose, and then we transfer body weight. Exactly. Now, one more time with my dynamic here before we give you another tip. And from here we go, change body weight. Always make sure you change her body weight to see where she is at, and then whoop, pop, pop, pop. Again. If you notice, Leonardo is singing. Sing. <laughs> we are going to count the step. Due to copyright, of course, we cannot use the music and we would love to use the music. Hopefully, we can, in the near future, we can start using more music. But at the moment, due to copyright, we can't, sorry. So we're going to count the step. Let's do it yes. on this side so you'll see the numbers where we can do the trust pied. So we go side five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you notice the trust pied, it's happening during a syncopation, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, we are syncopating one pam pam, one pam pam, and then we continue. That would be the, the timing, the dynamic, yes? Good work, guys. Congratulations. Thank you for watching the class. Until the very end, you rock. Thank you for your support. See you on the next video.